gonna ask him about it. What were you working on? I was restoring a ceremonial spear for tonight's ma mass. We do have the blueprints for it. It is a magnificent relic. I think Abbot Gregory would be pleased with the results. Okay. I mean, we do have the spear blueprints. Oh, you can even ask him about it. This is what I was working on during the ceremony. Father Augustine, a visiting scholar, asked me to help restore this relic. I'm quite proud of my work on it. I should be ready for tonight's mass. Oh, look, and we got additional evidence. We got St. Augustine. It's that one. Ah. So you might even be able to ask him about every single character. Augustine, the scholar, a visiting scholar who studies daemons and the Aether. Father Augustine is a scholar of daemons and Aetheric technologies. He's made truly remarkable discoveries in his theoretical works. Interesting. Well, that does line up, but I do want to ask him about the herb. Where is the herb? Don't tell me we don't have the herb. Is it because she just destroyed it immediately? I guess so. What? What? Well... Where is... Where is the... Where is the weird daemon herb? The ganja I... is gone. Well, ask him about the blueprints. It's got a square around it for some reason. Oh, these ones? Yeah. Yes. Other Miriam's coronet was... Built according to these exact specifications. If Gideon performed the ceremony correctly, the coronet would have been safe to install. Right, because of the limiter. Now I could ask him about the remains. Are these the only pieces that were found in the chamber? I see the casing in the amplifier, but the limiter seems to be missing. How could that be? Mm -hmm. Ask him about the limiter. I can't ask about the limiter? Probably. Oh, I yeah, bet you yeah. can ask about everything. There we go. You found it on Gideon's desk. It's no wonder the coronet exploded. The imbecile must have forgotten to replace it after adjusting the coronet's amplification. Despicable. That would be the easy thing, but I wonder about the door opening and closing, but it couldn't have opened and closed. Ask about the button. Three times. I could ask about the button. For safety reasons, the button's the only way to open the Consecration Chamber's door. Ah, uh, he has no more about that. I'll but ask him about when, when he tried to stop the ceremony. The consecration chamber, I immediately felt something was wrong. Why did you have to ask Gideon to stop? Why not force him? Couldn't you open the chamber or push Gideon aside? Interrupting the ceremony would have been more dangerous. Had I opened the chamber, the energy would have been let loose into the workshop. Had I pushed Gideon away, no one would have, would have been controlling the energy gathered within the chamber. In either case, my action would have resulted in a greater catastrophe. Hmm, interesting. That the unthinkable happened. In the end, there was nothing I could do to stop this tragedy. Only if, for Mother Miriam's sake, you would bring justice to my brother. So Let's you can ask actually him about opening the chamber. They okay. decided to perform. The door was still closed until this point. Why did you not close it after Mother Miriam entered? Because I knew Gideon was bringing the coronet soon. The ceremony had yet to begin anyway, so it was still safe to keep the chamber open. Hmm. Yes. That's very true. Yep. What is that dark thing? standing there. Uh, I think that's her, but the graphics glitched out. Gideon suggested oh. setting the coronet. They decided to perform this since Gideon was going to have Oh, everything. yeah, you're right. I went back to my mother Miriam, came to us. To Gideon suggested setting the coronet to have maximum ether out. Oh, of course they didn't heed the warning. You should ask him about the prayer. Yeah, I and could ask brother, him. And his brother, like, ask him about his brother adjusting the cornet, the prayer, and the performing the ceremony. It looks like I can't ask you him about You can't ask any about certain these. things. So ask about the. Yeah. I don't think I can ask him yeah, about you can. his brother's you testimony. You absolutely can. Oh. Try it. Oh, sorry. She's stuck in the other thing about heeding their warning. Okay. Adjusting Since the cornet. Yeah, everything. 
I went back to my tasks. Unfortunately, I was occupied at the time. Didn't see exactly what Gideon was doing. Yeah, uh, that's true. Let's ask about the prayer. Because that's when he would have opened the door if his mm -hmm. brother's testimony was correct. I saw Gideon pray before the ceremony began. He did that right, at least. Right, but what were you... That's it. During... Okay. The Aether output most certainly was not within safe ranges. He's lying. So now if you'd click on the Gideon tab on the left, you immediately go over to talk to Gideon instead. Then I am. Now that I've discovered important pieces of evidence, let's ask this suspect about them. Let's select any evidence and ask him about it. All right, now we can ask him about the door controls. Good. I should remember that I can ask a suspect about any evidence that I find. These door access records show that the chamber was sealed during the ceremony. There you have it. Proof the ceremony was performed flawlessly. Perhaps. What's curious is that the door was opened twice. First time was when Reuben opened the chamber to let Mother Miriam in. The second time was just before the ceremony started, when you closed your eyes and prayed for guidance. With the one true God as my witness, I swear that that is the truth. I kneeled and listened for his voice. It must have been Reuben who opened it, for some reason. Gideon claims that the Aether output values were within safe ranges, but the control panel indicates otherwise. Let's present the control panel to him and unmask his lies. Contradict! Control panel! Present. Lies unmasked! You lied, Gideon. The ceremony wasn't safe. The controlled panel's records show that the Aether output values were in abnormally high ranges. Ha! Huh. Of course it was. Mother Miriam wanted the coronet as powerful as it could be. But I am Gideon the Grand. With my talents, I had it under control. I had no errors. Something else went wrong. I just don't know what. Gideon has amended his testimony. Let's examine the maintain... Uh, let's examine maintain control. Ah, interesting. Good. This statement from Gideon's testimony is now verified for two reasons. One, specificity. It has a shorter time frame and describes a clear set of events. Two, physicality. Gideon's testimony now is consistent with the records from the control panel. I can assume that any verified statement like this is true. So the true statements are the ones that are highlighted in gold? Yes. At this point? Click on his eye. Oh, he does have an inner eye. Let's see what his is. Narcissist. Of course. Of course. We already knew that. Okay, so you might as well ask him about maintaining control as well. Narcissist. Found in Gideon's sanctum, craves attention and sincerely believes that he is the best cybernetician in the world. I am indeed talented and proud of it. Einsoft granted me gifts, and I gladly use them for his glory. <laughs> no, no, not for his glory, for your own glory. Mother, the Aether output was dangerously high, but I had the chamber under control. Did you? You've now admitted that the ceremony was risky. What makes you so confident that you maintained control? Because I'm a maestro. I remember every bit of my performance. Nothing that I did could have overcome the coronet limiter. Ah! Ah! But what about the coronet limiter? Recognize this component, Gideon? It was found at your workstation. The coronet limiter? Impossible. But the explosion? How could it be undamaged? I just said it was at your workstation, dummy. In any case, <clears throat> someone must have removed it from the coronet prior to the ceremony. All but ensuring that the ceremony would end in a bloody mess. I had nothing to do with this. Why would I sabotage my own work? 
Why indeed? But it's a good question. If it was really wholly his work. I'll ask him. I can ask him about the ceremony. The consecration ceremony is meant to be glorious, beautiful. Reuben's always been devout, serious, and boring. We can't all be grand, I suppose. The consecration ceremony is okay. Uh, okay, he's a. Uh... Here, I'll show him the remnants of the coronet. My masterwork! It was perfectly fitted to Mother Miriam's brow. Even in pieces, you can see the sublime beauty of my artistry. But this can't be all you found. Where's the limiter? I just showed you the limiter. Ah! Limiter? There was a safety device? The Aether limiter was supposed to protect the coronet from an oversearch. Additionally, it was the crown jewel of the coronet. I suppose it's shattered. Damnation! I... I don't like this. So, I don't it, like this guy, but he might still be telling the truth. I, th that's what I was coming to the conclusion with. I, I just don't like the fact that the game doesn't recognize that we already showed him the limiter. Yeah. So, he... Yes. Alright. So, we have that. What about the... We... Oh. The ceremony... You should ask him about his brother's actions Well, here's the blueprint. <laughs> Is that Reuben's little chart? He sure loves making things complicated. True art comes from the soul, nothing in that mess. Of lines and wires expresses the beauty of the coronet. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you want me to... So, for this, unverified corroboration, no. No, no, no. Talk to... Talk about his brother's stuff. The return to work and the try to stop the ceremony. Okay. With meanwhile, I adjusted the coronet's amplification at my work table and then placed it on Mother Miriam's head. Let's ask him about that, yeah. Did Reuben return to work? I have no idea. That's not important here anyhow. I think that would be. You, you could also ask him about the spear. Maybe he might know about that. Oh, the spear blueprints. Yes. Oh, is that Reuben's little project? Whatever keeps him busy is fine by me. He's awfully dismissive. Let's ask him about if the aether output was dangerous. With, if his brother actually tried to but stop I the had ceremony. The chamber under control. I vaguely recall him coming up to me. I didn't hear him. I was too busy performing the ceremony. I I mean, I suppose he could claim that, considering I uh, he Oh, I should ask him about this dude, Augustine. My brother idolizes that man. I don't understand it. Theories in history is pointless. Uh, okay. I, I was hoping that we could glean some information, like Augustine was a rival of Miriam's and could have been next in line as next father of the Abbey, and this he, man he idolized so much wanted him to be the new yeah. father, but no, so it's not like that. You might want to go to maintain control and try to contradict him. Sure. And same thing with adjust the coronet. Uh, adjusting the coronet. Meanwhile, I adjusted the coronet. Yeah. Let's ask him about it. Table. What exactly did you modify? I modified the amplifier within its maximum setting. To do so, I had to temporarily remove the limiter. But I made sure to replace it before taking it to the chamber. Should I contradict him there? Sure. Because the limiter was there? Yeah. Present the suspect. Yeah, this is the limiter. What? But the limiter was on your workstation. Well, that's dumb. Uh, you're right. This is going to be a little bit like Phoenix Wright, where you have evidence that... Seems to make sense. It makes perfect sense, but it won't be able to go. We began by closing our eyes and... I'll ask him about the door opening. You heard the door open. Perhaps. I think I also heard footsteps. But it's a faint, vague memory. No mention- not to mention it's impossible. After all, Mother Miriam can't open the door from within. Reuben was probably working away on some new device or another. I must have imagined it. Also, we can contradict him with the button. True. But the door could have the, only been opened twice. The point is it's twice. verified. I don't know. The door could have only been opened twice. There can't be three times. 
Ah, uh, okay. So we don't have. Let's go back to Hello, Miriam's Mother arrival. Miriam came to me for her consecration ceremony. I've performed this many times before, so let's ask I him about confident. his brother being there. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. No, no, you're asking about the verified ones. You got to go to the Miriam's arrival. Okay. Oh, you're right. Were you alone when greeting Mother Miriam? Huh? Yes, I'm certain I was alone then. Really? But what can I contradict that with? I suppose I can't the really... The blueprints. The blueprints? Yeah, use the blueprints. To contradict the, the state blueprints? of being al alone. Yeah. Because notice how Reuben said they discussed the ceremony? Oh, well that's the consecration so ceremony contradict. here. contradict. Contradict with the ceremony? No, the blueprint. This one, the coronet yeah, blueprint? Yeah, because they discussed it. Plans for constructing it. Very well. God damn it. See? Yeah, we have to catch them in a lie here. Because if the brother has to be there... What more could it have been? Otherwise, try contradict and use use the brother. Really? Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Nope. No. You can't. You can't contradict with that. Let's do the, the adjusting of the coronet. I adjusted the coronet's amplification at my work table, and then placed it on Mother Miriam's head. Maybe we're just supposed to accuse him at this point. Really? Yeah, because they do. I do think they get extra dialogue if you accuse them. Okay, we can try to accuse him. The means. By what Look. means do you, are you claiming that I killed her? Yeah, the cornet limiter. While you were adjusting the cornet, you removed the limiter. That's nonsense. You really think I would forget to replace the crown jewel of my masterpiece? Really? That, that just ends it right there? Control panel. I suppose I could do the control panel. The control panel and the shattered cornet indicate that there was a dangerous amount of aether output. Yes, I was performing sli something slightly dangerous, but I had it under control. Clearly not, given what happened. You could have stopped the ceremony. Because I was confident I could do it safely, something else must have gone wrong. Pathetic excuses. When could I have harmed Mother Miriam? I mean, the ceremony itself. No, you have to click on the event down below. Oh, okay. So maintain this control. Maintain control. You perform the ceremony yourself. This gave you ample opportunity to hurt her. Yes, I performed the ceremony, but I did nothing that could have harmed her. Her decapitated corpse is otherwise Gideon. The, the weird thing is, I'm almost feeling like this is wrong. That we could easily get the motive. The motive could be his narcissism, but his narcissism also would be completely contrary. It would be completely opposite because well, yeah. he wouldn't want to ruin Miriam because he want, this is his ceremony. I don't think we have enough evidence to... You could have kept going just to see. Sometimes they will have I'm, more dialogue there. I, I'm, All right. I, well, okay, the thing is, I'm afraid that if we do this, it's going to be case closed and we accuse the wrong guy. No, I don't think that... They said there's only one way to do this. If you're wrong, they will contradict you. Oh, uh, okay, fine. We can go back. I loved Mother Miriam. Why would I hurt her? So, brain? Yeah, but being a narcissist isn't... You are a self-absorbed man. Everything you do feeds into your pride. To you, Mother Miriam was a mere prop for your masterpiece. You carelessly caused her death in pursuit of artistic glory. How dare you! I took the utmost care in everything I did for Mother Miriam. Hornet was designed to be worn by her. Without her, it will remain forever imperfect. I would never risk anything that would harm my work or Mother Miriam. Yeah, so, you are completely correct, but it didn't end anything. So... We gotta keep looking for evidence here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So it's a good thing that it doesn't just throw you in there. Mm-hmm. Um, but cancel. 
So we need to find... I think we need to ask Ruben a little Since bit Gideon more. Since Gideon was going to handle everything, I went back to my tasks. See if you can contradict him. Yeah, sure. For return to work. And see if you can present prayer. Try clicking on prayer. Like... Really? Yeah. Present. Gideon thought... He, oh, Gideon thought he heard something during his prayer. Oh, right. The door opening and closing. You're correct. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean anything. He could have imagined it. Mm hmm. No, that's true. Uh, the try door? presenting the door controls. Okay. It's it's still selected. Don't. Okay. So, if you don't hit return, you're still on. No, don't stop hitting return. Ah, what? What do you want me to do? Hit contradicts. Okay. So contradict. Okay. Prayer. Now you're currently. No, don't present that again. It's good. Oh, door yeah, controls? Now, there you go. There we go. Lies unmasked. You test my patience, Reuben. As your memory slipped once more. The door records show that the consecration chamber was opened twice today. But the thing is, we did open it again to, to let her out, right? This doesn't make sense. Unless it was opened at least before the incident. Is that what they mean? Yeah. Given that Gideon was praying during this time, only you could have opened the chamber. It's oh. Tr true that I opened the chamber again, just before the ceremony started. But I had my reasons. Something about the chamber seemed unseemly. Was it the daemon herb? What do you think? Is that uh, why it was in his se section? Maybe? Given what happened to Mother Miriam, I feel vindicated in my fears. Tell me what you did in the chamber. Well, listen to his testimony. Start with return to work. Okay. Because that's changed. Gideon was going to handle everything. Okay. I went back to my same. tasks. Check so chamber. I opened the consecration chamber to verify that the coronet was in working order. Oh. What were you checking? To perform, uh, to perform the ceremony safely. Precision is critical. I wanted to make sure the coronet was placed correctly on Mother Miriam. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Yep. That doesn't sound right, but Click can on we... his third eye, by the way. Yeah, he's lying. Let's take a look at his demon. Evidence discovered. Envy. Envy. Yeah, he's envious of his brother. Interesting. Envy. Believer. Envy. You might even be able to ask him about that. About this? Yeah. Me, envious of Gideon. Ha! Unlikely. His artistry would be nothing without my designs. He doesn't know the first thing about how our implants actually work. All of his work is trite, superficial. Why anyone gives him attention is beyond me. Yup. Mm-hmm. Let's ask him about returning to work again. Everything seemed fine, so I returned to my desk again. Did you? Ask him about it. What were you working on? That spear? I was restoring a ceremonial spear for tonight's mass. It's a magnificent relic. Relic. I think Abbot Gregory will be pleased with the results. Okay. So... Yeah, so we what we can do is we could... So I mean, honestly, I think it's oh, I think we can accuse him. Yeah, we probably just accuse him right order. now. Okay. So we've already got the means. The coronet limiter. He took yep. it off. Opportunity. Accusing him of sabotage is when he checked the chamber. Yep. During the prayer, you claim to have opened the chamber to check the materials. This is when you sabotage the ceremony. Motive? And it is envy. Sent. Mother Miriam's death was merely a means to an end. Humiliation of Gideon. Your envy you envy your brother's success. You want his fame, his glory. Accuse? Einsoff sees all, Reuben. You killed Mother Miriam to frame Gideon and take him down a peg. With Gideon gone, a daemon whispered that people would finally recognize you for your genius. I am older than Gideon, 
My work is better than Gideon, and more important. But no one sees my work. No one understands my work. Confess, Reuben. Tell us what the daemon made you do. Oh, Ooh, look at this. Click on his eye. Yep, it's red. Demonic corruption runs deep within Reuben's soul. Yet Reuben may still be saved. I must speak the daemon's true name. Then the daemon will be cast out. Ain Suf, guide me. What daemon has possessed Reuben? The one of envy, right? Yep. Lotan the envious? Yep. Speak the name. Out, Lotan! Leave this soul and return whence you came! Magnificently done, Madam Exorcist. The power of Ain Suf compels you, Lotan. Leave this soul and return to the ether. Thousands of years, and you humans never change. Never satisfied, always comparing, wanting more. Someone else is always richer, prettier, wiser, better. Nothing can ever fill that void within you. Not even- Silence, Lotan. Oops, sorry. Reuben may yet be redeemed. So he was saying, not even me. Nothing can fill the void. Oof. You are a scourge. Without your influence, a good woman would still be alive. Leave humans be, Lotan. I banish you to the ether. As you wish, but I'll return soon enough. My prince and master, Lucifer, walks among you. Lucifer will open the gates of hell, and at last, humanity will remember its full potential. Until then, Madam Exorcist, adieu. So polite. Adieu. Come forth, Reuben. What remains of you? Th th thank. <laughs> He's silent and still. Poor soul. Rest, Reuben. Heal, if you can. So people who've been exercised, do they just go into a catatonic state? Maybe, yeah. And well, they kind of rebuild their psyche uh, without... Because effectively, she removed... Maybe not fully envy from him, but like... Uh, God, what would be a good example? Hmm. Well, I mean, the the negative trait kind of forms like a a hole in his psyche that the daemon then fills, I guess. And so he is effectively missing a significant part of his personality now. Go figure, he'd be catatonic. I Which makes me wonder though, how do these people really conduct themselves because humans and their human emotions I mean, they're all facets of what make one human maybe, so can this society re how does it maybe but because of piety and cybernetics it reinforces uh morality more so than like what we would normally have i don't know but at what point do you become infected at one point like do you have to be exposed to it do you have to just if something takes over your thoughts does it eventually manifest itself do, yeah do you know what i think I, mean? it, I think it's like i'm sure everybody probably still has negative emotions and so on and so forth it's just for this guy who was particularly strong he was spending his entire life in his brother brother's his shadow. younger brother's shadow when he was the one doing all the design work and his brother was just doing the flare mm -hmm. the final touches yeah mm -hmm. sister ada you've returned was there a demon at work after all I'm afraid so. The exorcism was a success. Reuben's soul has been purged. Unfortunately, the daemon was difficult to cleanse. Reuben is returned to pure innocence. Does that mean he was reset? Possibly. Ah! Yeah, look at him. What? The exorcism shattered his mind? 
Can you bring him back? It's out of my hands. If Ain Suf wills it, maybe Reuben will heal. Guards, please escort this shell to the cryostasis cellar. The cryostasis cellar? So what? It, if you get purged, you just exist until maybe you heal? I, I, I guess so. The society doesn't back? actually seem that functional. No. I pray for his swift recovery. Abbot Gregory. Oh. Wait, but I thought Abbot Gregory... He's what? the one that wanted the spear. Yeah, you're... Yeah, that is him. Praise be to Ainus of Sister Ada. You have saved us all. Oh, wait. I thought it was Augustine. Oh. That was the spear guy. Was Gregory the one that was going to step down and Miriam was to take his place? Oh, maybe that's it. He is getting on in years. On behalf of everyone at St. Walpurgis, I express our utmost gratitude. We are not yet safe. We must act quickly until we locate the source of the demonic influence. We don't understand yet why demons would act after 100 years. Holy Father, we must quarantine the abbey and the surrounding town immediately. Detain and interrogate anyone who seems suspicious. We can try, Sister Ada, but it will be difficult, as we have visitors arriving hourly. Much like yourself, pilgrims from afar are here to celebrate Walpurgis Nacht. Is it is it just Walpurgis Night? Night, yeah. Night Nacht? Is it a festival of sorts? Yeah. It's such a shame Mother Miriam couldn't bear witness to it. Ah, uh, yes. The priestess. We must destroy her body immediately. Destroy? That's quite the way to put it. Traces of demonic influence may remain from her contact with Reuben. Oh, whoa, 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 but what about you? What about the brother? What about anyone who was in the same room with them? Yeah, I, I yeah. don't know. What, what, how do you, are you going to cleanse yourself Hmm. No, Sister Ada, thank you for your concern, but we absolutely cannot. Mother Miriam was a prominent figure and well-loved, with decades of service. We must treat her body with dignity and give her a proper burial. Send Mother Miriam's body to the mortuary for embalming. Your Excellency, we really ought to take the advice of the exorcist. Mother Miriam's body has been desecrated enough, Virgil. Send her to the mortuary, now. As you command, Your Excellency. Holy Father, you are making a grave mistake. Sister Ada, don't worry yourself. All will be well. All will be well. Famous last words. Yep. Maybe he is pride. Uh I mean, he could be behind parts of it, but it could also be, well, watch the mortician or someone else affiliated with uh, interacting with her corpse get something. Because mm -hmm. she did ask for her aether to be exceptionally yeah. enhanced. There could have also been a, a daemon at work even in that request. St. Walpurga's triumph over Lucifer has brought us a century of peace and bliss. It's horrifying that a demon was exorcised from our abbey, but surely it was the final remnant. Surely. Didn't... Has she said nothing about how the date? Oh, yeah, 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 Lotan. He just said that, oh, I've served my, you know, my Prince Lucifer walks among you. Yeah, <laughs> and she's going to say nothing about this. Well, maybe she will. I think she'll say it right now. The daemon within Reuben spoke of yep. Lucifer's return. Yup. Lucifer's ways are insidious. Even the most devout among us have temptations. It's a shame Brother Reuben fell to the demon. But the rest of my flock is stronger. Faith shall be their shield. Now, please excuse me. This evening's mass requires my attention. We are honored by your presence, Sister Ada. Praise be to Einsof. I swear I've heard Einsof before. I'll look it up. I mean, it might be 
like the all seeing, the all holy, the all. I think that's what Ein Sof or the all spirit, like hmm. the Holy Spirit. What is it? Okay, Ein Sof in Kabbalah is understood as God prior to any self manifestation in the production of any spirit spiritual realm. Oh, okay. So just Ein Sof means infinity. Oh, interesting. So, hmm. infinite light, but effectively it means God. Mm -hmm. Even the Holy Father can be foolish then. Ain't soft. Let it not be true that Lucifer walks, but if it is. Ain Suf, guide me, that I may unmask all lies, no matter how painful. 